Okay, so we are back with Mr. Bell. We are carrying on with the quite practical 10A. Mr. Bell. So, year 15, we are now back at the reaction and we've left our conical flask to react for 20 minutes in this water bath and then after we took it off to let it cool down to room temperature and this is what we've got. You can see that it's a nice white product but now we have to make sure that it's um, pure. At the moment it's got lots of impurities in. Now the first thing that we need to do is add some water to a small conical flask. But Mr. Bell, in the method, doesn't it say to add the um, add your reaction mixture to the water? Why are you doing it the other way around? Great question, Dr. Ava. So the reason why we're doing this is because if I was to pour the contents of this conical flask into the water, I'd still have lots of residue left in this conical flask, which would mean I'd have to somehow try to get it from here into here, which is just more work for me. And as chemists, we're really lazy, we do the easiest thing possible. So I'm going to pour the water into the conical flask, as shown. So again, that's something that could easily be affecting our um, percentage yield. If we, if we were to do it the other way around, um, it, it might mean that we lose some of our reaction mixture on the inside of the flask, but this is a Little, little little adjustment that might help us out. Exactly, just a real world adjustment to help us. And here, so fully submerged uh, in the water. Now we're going to move to uh, um, vacuum uh, filtration here. So here we've got a little apparatus connected to the water. I'm going to turn it on. And this will create a reduced pressure in here, which will suck the uh, contents of this through and it's going to remove all the water, all the moisture from the um, product here. So I'm going to do this and then talk about it a little bit after. So I'm going to pour it off and try and get as much as possible. So as you can see we've still got a bit left so what I'm going to do is grab a spatula I think on my feet. through, yeah, every little bit through, because as Dr. Sarah said, we need to have a good yield. So a little bit of improvisation yeah. here from Mr. Bell, making sure that he's getting all of that um, solid through from the conical flask. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I still have a bit left, so I'm just going to get some deionized water, not tap water, and make sure all the edges clear of our crude product. Again, at this point, it doesn't really matter how much water we add, because it's just going to go through straight to the effluent here. So, a few little steps there just to make sure that we get uh, as high a yield as possible. Yeah, just making sure I get everything. Maybe move it on the side, so I've got all the edges and then dumping it straight in like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to let this run for a bit, uh, but I just need to... Can you just come over here? Up yeah, sure. Important. As you can see in here, you've got lots of clumps of our crude product. Now, at the moment, it's not great that it's clumped together. So what we do is we need to start breaking up carefully. Now, this will mean that the moisture in these clumps is removed via this filtration we're doing right now. So breaking it very carefully, because we don't want to break the filter paper, we just try and break the clumps like this. This will mean our yield will be more accurate and, in essence, better, because it's not just comprised of water. Wow. Uh, can you talk us through the, the filtration apparatus then? So what, what are some of these bits of equipment called? Because uh, I've, uh, I've not seen one of these, filter, uh, one of these um, funnels in a long time, so, so talk us through that. Yeah, of course. So you've got the main... Um, ceramic container here yeah. and you've got, uh, I think it's a take on an Erding, Erdingmeyer um, flask, correct me if I'm wrong sir. Yeah, 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 so we've got at the top we've got the uh, the Buckner funnel and then we've got the um, rubber seal in between and we've got then the conical flask with a little side arm connected to uh, a tap of water. So why are we connecting it to water then? So the water is, is goes 
coming from obviously the tap, yep. going through, and this is making reduced pressure in our conical flask here, which then obviously it's coming from the top and it's go coming through all the way around here and in essence sucking through any moisture. So having this water running means that we are um, putting a little bit of pressure um, onto our flask and it is helping it suck the moisture through. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. If you have a look in here, sir, you will start to see some crystals forming. I don't know if you, the camera can get it, but you can sh still see some shimmering white crystals in there. Yeah, I think we can just about see that. And hopefully, after the next purification step, recrystallization, these crystals are going to be even bigger and hopefully even shinier. Okay, so what do we do next? So the next step is going to be recrystallization. I'm just going to set that up now and we'll back in a second.